Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. This video will be the continuation of the last video where I tried to explain what is virtualization in general and what is server virtualization. In this video, I am going to cover what is storage virtualization. Before we go and see what is storage virtualization in detail, let's see what is the problem with the traditional storage devices. In the traditional storage devices, the storage is physical. It means that all the connections and the presentation of the storage devices is physical. It requires a lot of energy in power and cooling of the devices. The access and configuration of the storage devices happens in physical way. Also, it results in complexity, reboots of the storage devices and the downtime, which finally results in money. Moving on to the next problem with the traditional storage devices, what we have is something called multiple management system. In multiple management system, storage devices from the different vendors usually have their own management system, which is inconsistent in behavior. One vendor will follow some different rule for managing its storage devices and the other vendor will follow its different rule. So the management systems is not consistent between the different vendors. Also, the storage devices which is coming from the different vendors are incompatible with each other. Because of the first and the second reason of inconsistent and incompatible, the solution is incomplete. Moving to the next problem with the traditional storage devices, what we have is the typical storage utilization. The typical storage utilization for the disk is hardly 30 to 50% in traditional storage devices. Also, for the tape, it is hardly 20 to 40 percent. Because of the three problems, which is the storage and physical, multiple management system, and typical storage utilization, the availability requirement driven by the e-business is not fulfilled by the traditional storage devices. Also, for the traditional storage devices, the tolerance or the downtime is zero, whether it is planned or unplanned. So to conclude all the problems with the traditional storage devices, we can say that increasing a storage management cost and not able to support the today's rapid data growth, it is very hard to use the traditional storage devices in modern days. So let's see how storage virtualization overcome this traditional storage problem. So let's see what is storage virtualization. Storage virtualization sometimes called software defined or virtual SAN is the pooling of multiple physical storage arrays from SANs and making them appear as a single virtual storage device. The pool can integrate unlike storage hardware from different networks, vendors or data centers into one logical view and manage them from a single pane of glass. Also, Virtualizing storage separates the storage management software from the underlying hardware infrastructure in order to provide more flexibility and scalable pool of storage resources. Also, it can abstract storage hardware into virtual storage pools in the same way compute virtualization abstract compute hardware into virtual machine instances. So let me explain this storage virtualization using a diagram. So in virtualized server storage infrastructure, what we usually have some servers. We can assume that we have three storage servers and we have some storage devices in the infrastructure. Now let's see how we can connect the storage devices to these physical servers or to the machines which is running on these physical servers. So to do that, what we have to do is to first create a pool of storage devices using these three storage devices. Now, once we create a pool, we can have something called virtual SAN or data center. This all this, this virtual SAN will be connected to this uh, storage devices using a, using this pools. Now on the server side, what we can have is something called hypervisor like ASXi or Hyper-V from the Microsoft and our virtual machines can be running on these hypervisors. Our virtual machines now can connect to any one of these storage devices using the virtual SAN. So you can see this virtual machines can connect to these virtual SANs 
and this virtual sense is indirectly connected to these storage devices. From the virtual machine point of view, we have only one data center and the managing of this virtual sense usually happens through a single console. In summary, what is storage virtualization is an abstraction of details that separates the layer that is host implementation, network implementation and storage implementation. So if you see this virtual machine VM1, VM2, VM3, VM4 and VM5 is directly connected to this virtual SAN. They have no idea how this virtual SAN is connected to this storage devices. So it is abstracting the host or the virtual machine storage, in, uh, storage connectivity implementation. Coming to the next what we have is mix invisible to the host of physical pathing, device characteristics and the physical data location. The same thing which I was saying in the last time like virtual machine 1 has no idea where my storage devices are located. The virtual machines are only connected to this virtual sense and virtual sense are connected to this storage devices through the pools. Also it provides location and implementation abstraction. It enables dynamic operation. It means enables transparent on the fly reconfiguration. Now suppose if my this storage disk is not working properly, I can move this storage device from this pool and reconnect one new storage device on the fly, which allows data location to change transparency to the environment. So these are some of the benefits of using the storage virtualization. Now coming to the benefits of the storage virtualization, we have some around seven benefits. The one benefit which we are getting from the storage virtualization is the vendor lock-in. So what is vendor lock-in? The vendor lock-in is something like using two different storage devices from different vendors. Previously without the storage virtualization, it was not possible for one of the storage device from one vendor and the other storage device from the other vendor can work together there will be some compatibility issue but using the storage virtualization we can do this also the data migration across the array the data migration across the array is very easy in the case of the storage virtualization scalability is one of the very big benefit what we are getting out of the storage virtualization we can add any number of the storage devices in this pool depending on the demand also, the redundancy is one of a big benefit out of the storage virtualization. In today's world, nobody wants to lose their data. So, redundancy is one of a very critical parameter for today's infrastructure. Coming to the performance, using storage virtualization, we gain high performance. Coming to the next, what we have is the high cost and management. The management of these storage devices using the virtual using the storage virtualization is very easy because here we can manage all these storage devices using a single pan. So these are some very big benefits what we are getting out of the storage virtualization. So this is all about the storage virtualization. Hope you like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel and stay connected. For time being, have a great day and goodbye.